Hey guys, Wayne here. We're back with another little tutorial. This one is going to be how to set up your Jinx get Pokemon Lum Lumiacent Platinum going. So, Realms and Keys provide Realms and Keys provided are of my own providing. I got them from my Switch, which I ripped from myself. If you no need to find them, the Google search will help you out. All right, so let's get into this guide. Close you now. Don't need you going. Google, first off, you want to go to your drinks and download their emulator. Download it for your computer. If you have a Mac, it will be rough on anything that's not an M1 or M2 chip. To keep that in mind, oh, we're on PC, we've got the Windows one, download, got it, so do that, cool. and then we also want to go to Lumescent Platinum website, so download, it will take us to Nexus mod, where you'll need to uh, create an account and sign in. Signed in, then you want to go over to here to manual download. That button will take you to here. And then click slow download. Downloading. And then that will download. Real simple. Okay. So now that we have them two down, I mean, we also need our, our keys and our firmware, which I have right here in my Switch folder. Product keys and my firmware. Oh, and we also need our copy of Brilliant Diamond and the update. You can also find by a simple Google search. I already have mine extracted, so yeah, I have mine in documents and switch games. Okay, so now let's go back to download. Hmm. You want to find our your drink folder we downloaded here. We want to extract that. Right click. Extract, open up, extract, click extract to, yada, yada, yada. Done that. Open up to documents. Extract it. You want to double click your your drinks. It will load up the screen and it will ask for, you need a key. Just click OK. It will then take you to this screen. You want to go to files, open your drink folder, then in the system folder, open that up, and that is where we want to copy our prod key. You need to make sure it says prod keys. If there's anything else, it won't pick it up. Okay, close that, close that, and then when you relaunch it, a little bit it will not pop up prod keys anymore it will not pop up that it needs a key it comes straight to this blank screen now what we want to do is install the firmware we go tools install firmware from x the aisle sip that find your firmware Unzip, just tap that, tap open, and it'll pop up. Do you want to install? Yes, and it will install and run. Simple as that. Hmm. Now, to get our games on, we want to go in options, settings, and under game directories, you want to go add, and add a folder where you're going to put all your Switch games in. I'm just in documents, switch games. 
Simple as that. Where when I open up photo again and go back to my uh events. Games right there. Once you load that, your games once you put when you put them in here will pop up. Save, apply, pop up here. Simple. Now you want to pay close to version. So the version you need is 1.3.0 for it to work. If you have 1.0, you'll need to install if you have 1.0.0, you'll need to install the update. Install the update, you right click on the game. Go manage title updates. And then you'll want to add the update. Probably be in your downloads folder. So add that. And then click save and it will install the update. And it will change here to 1.3.0. Now add the mod. Quite simple. Right click again. <clears throat> so open mods directory. Take us right to where we need to put the folders. Okay, if we go back to downloads. It, I have crap everywhere. Downloads. Then you'll want to find your mod. Not that one. I already, I already moved stuff. And I have it mine in here. You want to find your mod. Open that up. And then, so you want to extract it. Back this file. This one. Then you can just take this, copy that, and put it into here. Simple as that. All right, so we can close all this down, close all that down. And yeah, and that's about it. Should have it going. Then double click the game. It will run through, up, run through and apply everything. May take a little bit to kick in, but you'll have these three new symbols down the bottom. If they're the three starters, then you've done it wrong. It should be these three, and then it will should pop up with a yellow screen, just English. Highlight it. All you need. And we will go into the, and then you'll ask you to go for the tutorial. It will load a bit. And it will take you into the game. Simple as that. Here's my little game that I started playing. Team. Little Eevee. Some other things you can do. I myself, I'm using a controller. Add your controller. Just stop, stop the game for a moment. Go back to home screen. I'll go to settings. Input. And you want to configure player one. So if your controller plugged in, you want to change your input part, input type to the controller. Then you can change the controller type. You want to do Joy-Cons or just a Pro Controller. I've got my Pro Controller. And then you just simply press the tab and then hit the button you want to allocate to each button. Simple as that. Sticks. Triggers. Motion, hooks, all that other stuff you really want to. And add it to the profile and click save. Just like that, you have your controller hooked up. Right, so now if you're having a little bit of lag and stuff, you can always untick dock mode. Yeah, you unclick dock mode which will 
act make the emulator act as a running handheld mode. For that, then you'll need to configure handheld. But my computer's powerful enough to run it. So if you're having some issues, you can disable VSync. You may get a little stuck. Best to leave best to leave most of these settings untouched. Keep it as auto, keep it as auto. You can keep resolution as native. Went up a bit because I can run it. Everything else you can pretty much leave the same. Save that. And yeah, that should about do it for this tutorial. I will have links and everything down below in the description. And I'll probably have some up on the screen somewhere during this tutorial. But anyway, all. I hope you all got some useful information. And hope you all get it working. I will try to answer as many problems and that as you have down below in the comments. I even added Discord. And so get that up and running in the future. How are you? Hope you all enjoyed. Hope it was very helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye.